guys, welcome back. So this video is going to be my nail polish collection in storage. So I'm gonna go through what is on my nail polish racks right now. So this white one right here I got from Amazon, which has all of my Zoya nail polishes on it, as well as my sinful colors. And then this black one right here I got from eBay, which I will link these both down in the description box, but these have all kind of like different brands like I kind of just arranged these on like the brands I had the most of I think I'm gonna actually go through this rack first because I feel like I've gone through my Zoya so many times and I kind of just want to go through like all the different kind of stuff I have up here I think this rack's really cool I really like it I thought about like spray painting it and stuff like that but I actually really like the white and the black together and this one is actually like a row or two longer it's an eight tier and then my white one is a five tier so i will place on the screen um like how much they're supposed to hold like roughly around like how many bottles of nail polish fit on each of the racks so you can kind of see i really like storing them this way i just like being able to see my nail polishes i think it makes me kind of more inspired i feel like it's easier to kind of pull from the colors and see what I want to wear this way and I just think nail polish racks are beautiful I would love to have more so this tub right here I have underneath my nail polish racks and it just has like kind of my miscellaneous polishes and also my mini polishes which are in that ipsy bag right on top there so I'm gonna go through this in my part two video right now I'm just gonna do what's on my nail polish racks and then in my desk over here I keep all of my top coats and everything like that, like all of my nail treatments in the middle drawer over here on this side. So as you can see on the top, I have China Glaze and then it goes into my OPIs and then my Nicole by OPIs. And then I have three Morgan Taylor polishes. Here we have first, this is I'm with the Lifeguard. This beautiful yellow is Daisy Know My Name. And this is Flip Flop Fantasy, which it's the new one ready to rave this one is rose among thorns this is a beautiful neon pink it's one of my most worn neons this is also a polish i wear so much of this is called beach cruiser this is that short bright this is laced up sweet hook lotus begin which these two are so similar this one might be just a little bit more purple this lotus begin this is boho blues and secret periwinkle which is not very periwinkle. This is All A Flutter. I should know the name of this. It's a trapeze. This is my favorite to wear on my birthday. Such a cool polish. This is Dancing and Prancing. This is a really pretty one for the holidays. This one's so cool for Halloween. This is Point Me to the Party. And this cool topper is called Ghostess with the Mostess. Okay, so down here are my OPIs. This white one is I Can Only Wear OPI. This second one is Muppets World Tour, which is like a textured glitter. It's super, like, super textured. This next one I've never worn, but I want to wear it. It just seems super sheer. It's called Otherwise Engaged. I'm pretty sure I got that with Marshalls or something. Mod About You. This one's really cool. This is called The Power of Pink. I don't think they make this anymore, but it's it's a really cool like Valentine's Day polish. Lucky Lucky Lavender, another polish that I wear all the time. Super cute in pink. Starry Eye for Dear Daniel. Japanese Rose Garden. Kiss Me on My Tulips. Spoken from the Heart. I feel like the sound of this is really annoying. This is called Race Red, which I really like this color. It's like a super orangey red. It's really nice though. Like it's a really buttery, dense color. I don't know, it's like a really rich, rich orange. Next I have Dutch Tulips, which is one of my favorite reds ever. I love this. It has a great formula. It's just a really, really nice, beautiful, like classic flowery red. This next one I hate on my nails, but I can't seem to get rid of it because I just want it to work on my nails so bad. This is called Going My Way or Norway, and it's just a really nice, like, brown. This is Yank My Doodle. This is It's a Piazza Cake. This is Got the Blues for Red. So these three right here are, like, my favorite fall colors of all time. So these are, like, my most worn fall nail polishes. And this last one is Lincoln Park at Midnight, which is, like, a dark, dark purple. So now on to this next row. 
This dark, dark inky blue is called Keeping Z Susie at Bay. This purple is I Carol About You. Lost my bikini in uh, Molokini. I should know this one. You're such a Budapest. This is like my favorite springtime nail polish. This is I Believe in Manicures. I've never worn this yet and I need to. This is That's Hilarious. Comet in the Sky, which is a really cool like glitter topper. Polka.com, which I feel like I need to get rid of, but I just can't. I can't bring myself to get rid of it for some reason because it's one of those I want to make work so bad. This next one was sent to me by Jessica. Thank you so much. This is like a really cool feathery topper. I love these kind of toppers. This is called I'll Tinsel You In. I still need to wear this on top of something. I did swatch it like on, on top of a bunch of colors and I think it would be really cute mostly over like this kind of color, like this periwinkle color. Last one is like a gold chunky glitter, great for the holidays, called Pop the Cork. Then I have three by Nicole by OPI. So this one is called Southern Charm. And this next one is Carnival Cotton Candy. And these two are from the Carrie Underwood line. I got these at Ulta on sale forever ago. Then this really dark oxblood color is called Girl Talk. I love this one for the fall. And this one is also one of my most favorite polishes. You can't like find this anywhere anymore. And it's like a textured cranberry holographic polish. And this is called My Cherry Amour. It's just, it's stunning. And now onto my three Morgan Taylor polishes. I've tried these two right here, just not this middle one just yet. These are really nice polishes. I really like the, bl the brush on them because it's like kind of stiff. It like flings off your nails. I don't know, I really like it. So this one is called Magician's Assistant, which is really interesting because it's got like a flash to it. You can't really see it, but it's a cool polish. And then this next one is called Dress Up. And then this last one, I wore for Halloween and it's such a pretty like deep violet indigo glitter. It's opaque on its own. It's called All the Right Moves. I absolutely love this on my nails and I think you guys liked it too from Instagram as well. I said this next row right here, which is the fourth row down, I have all my L'Oreal polishes. So this one right here is a gray that I need to wear called Ocean something. It's just a really nice like soft gray cream. And then the rest of these um, are like French L'Oreal polishes. They're so beautiful. Sadly, you can't get them in the States. I don't really know why, but I really wish they would make these available because I would buy every single color. This one is called Mocha Chic. This light one is called Damon Après Midi, I think. <laughs> okay, instead I'm gonna put them in a caption because I don't know how to say them and I don't want to butcher it. This one is Yarden de Roses. I think I say that right. This one's called Nymphia. This one's called Sherry Macron. Macaroon. Coral Trianon. And this last one's called Orange Triumph. So beautiful. These all have beautiful formulas and like wide brushes and they have like a scent to them and stuff, but I just love the bottle. Like the bottles are so pretty. They're my favorite bottles that I own. Okay, so next up on my row, I have essence polishes and then I have these bourgeois polishes and I just put these all together because A, these were all essences and then I thought like these bottles all kind of look the same, like they had similar caps, so I put them all together. These three essences right here, Rebecca actually sent me from Instagram, so these were from like a tribal collection. I'm not really sure, but I don't think you can get them anymore, so I'm so happy she sent them to me because they're so beautiful, amazing formulas, like Essence does polish so well. So this color right here is so beautiful. This is a mauve pink color, it's called 03 Live Love Laugh. Good vibes only. And then this pink color is called Stay Hippie. So I just adore all three of these. So next up I have these type of essence polishes, which I think all come from like Ulta and stuff. Um, a lot of them I haven't really tried yet. This milky white one included, which I really want to try because it's really pretty nice, like delicate color. And this is called Dream On. This beautiful pink color is called Sweet as Candy. And this next one is called So What? And then this one's called Indian Summer. Perfect match. Feels like birthday. Don't be shy. So that's all of those. And then the next ones are 
bourgeois polishes, which I think are French and also I don't think you can get these in the United States, which sucks. These are really beautiful polishes. I've tried this one and I've tried this one right here, just not this blue one just yet. And these are the Ultra Shine Solac. I know they make different types of these polishes. So this color is a really beautiful like mauvey pink called Beige Glamour. This is called Blue Fabulous, I think. This one I love. This is another mustard yellow that I'm delighted to have in my collection. And this is called Juan Trendy. I feel so lucky to have this. But on the next row, I have all of my Wet n Wild Mega Last polishes, which these are some really nice polishes as well. I love the wide brush on these and these are really affordable. This new color is called Private Viewing. Sugar Coat, 2% Milk. Sophisticated Lady. Poppy Culture, which this is another like really nice poppy red that I love wearing. It's a really nicely done, like easy to wear red color. This is another great red. This is called I Read a Good Book. Classic, classic red. Lava Brew. Punch It Up. Taking the Red Eye Through the Grapevine. On a Trip. Coast to Coast. I Dream of Jean Genie, um, Poison Ivy. This is a really, really super beautiful, like dark ivy green. So beautiful. And I don't even like greens that much, so. <laughs> and then this last one right here is a really cool, like, glitter topper. I still really haven't, like, worn this on my nails, but it's such a cool color. I can't get rid of it. It's called Field of Greens. The rest of this row is Wet n Wild. These four are the Fergie kind, which you can't find anymore. And then these are like, they're really, really cheap. Like you can always find these nail polishes. So this one is called Miami Spirit. This is one of my favorites. It's called Fergalicious. I have two of these because I love it so much. It's well loved. And this pearly kind of one is called Wedding Days. Okay. And then this is a really nice like silver foil polish. This is called Going Platinum. And then these three, this one is called Yo Soy, which I need to wear that actually. That's like a beige color I wanna wear. This one's called She Sells. Is it? She Sells, yeah. This is a really, really beautiful coral color. If you're in need of a nice coral, this is such a good, good coral for super cheap. And also a really nice yellow. This is called Dope, like from Homer Simpson. I hate saying that more than anything, but yeah, that's a really nice yellow for cheap too. So next up, I have all my KL polishes. So this is the whole lips and tips collection right here, this very first part, and then the rest are just kind of like single ones I have of hers. Leading into like pure ice and stuff because I thought the bottles were similar. So this first one is November. This one is Lumiere. Alyssa. Aquarius. Point Zero, Taurus, Caramello, Brick Sidewalk, Miami Heat, South Peach, and Pistachio Ice Cream. That was super easy to remember because I just bought all these. So yeah, I love her polishes. I'd love to have like all of her polishes, but that's what I have so far. The rest of the row, like I said, is Pure Ice and some Color Club because again, I thought the bottles look similar and I only have three Color Clubs, so I just put them down here by their lonesomes. So this gray pure ice is called He Rocks My World. This nude one's called Tickle Me Pink. This is Crop Top. Polite to Glare. Rain and Shine. Playful Purple. And this last one is called Shock and Awesome. And then these three color clubs are from Walmart. This is a really, really cute topper, like glitter, matte glitter topper. And this is called Invite Only. And these two are matte neon colors. These are pretty cool too. These, This one is called Study Buddy, which is a super, super bright, like orange color. And this next one is called Playdate, which I'm not even sure if I've worn this on my nails yet, but I will. Below that, on this row, we have my kind of like square bottle, so that would include, this is an LA Colors, and then I have these four, which are Flower Beauty, and then two that are Sephora brand, and then I put like my round short bottles because they were like all kind of the same height down next to them. This LA Colors is a really, really pretty gray color called Timeless, which I don't think I've worn yet. 
This Flower Beauty beige color is called Make My Day Lily, which I think I need to wear that too. I Lavender You, Thistle or That. And this really nice red metallic is called Budding Romance. And then here's my two only Sephora X, Sephora Formula X polishes, which I really, really like. This like banana cream color is called Astronomical, which is one of my favorite colors to wear. And then this gray color is called Pacific Haze, which I've never worn this yet, but I need to. <laughs> Story of my life. So, so down from this, I have three Milani color statements. So this purple one is called Imperial Purple. I'm not sure if they even make these anymore. This pink cream is called Bombshell, which is kind of like a yellowy pink. And then this one's kind of like a more purpley pink called Doll Face. These are actually really nice polishes. And then a couple random ones that I've gotten, I think from like Ipsy bags and stuff like that. So this one is from the brand Aurora. And this is a super, super bright neon pink called Old, Old School Pink. It's actually one of my favorite neon pinks. This one is from the brand Adesi and it's called Surfer Girl, which I did get that in an Ipsy bag and I actually really like that brand. This next one is by Nail Medic. And it's a charcoal infused nail polish, which is really cool. It doesn't seem to be a color on it at all anywhere, but it's a really pretty, like, light, light lilac cream. Another one by Adesi. I don't know the name of this one either, but it's kind of like a taupey color. It is by Nuance, which is a Selma Hayek brand. I think they sell this at, like, CVS and stuff. And this is called Vapor. This is another one by Adesi called Grand Central, which it's like a duochrome. I have e.l.f. my two e.l.f. polishes and then four Butter London polishes to round out this row. Called Smoking Hot from e.l.f. and it's a really nice red cream. Then I have a dark forest green called Green Machine. And from Butter London, I was gonna get rid of this, but so many of you were like telling me not to. This is called Trustafaria, which it's like um, a really light, grassy, like mossy green holographic polish. I still don't think I've worn it, but you guys made me scared to get rid of it, so I kept it. This next one's called The Old Bill, and it's just like a nice kind of like bronzy color. This one's just beautiful for fall time. It's like a metallic pumpkin orange color called Sunbaker. Really unique polish. I'm so glad I have it in my collection. And then this last one is like a, a what's that called? What's that fruit called? Not fruit. People eat like with spaghetti. I'm brain farting, but it's like a really nice like purple, eggplant, eggplant purple color called Bramble. We are just getting down there. Okay, so we are on to the last rack, like half an hour later, or last row, I mean. So this is where I keep all my funky fingers. These are like all the cool toppers that I find from like Five Below and stuff. Then these are just like really random. I just had them up here because they fit up here good. I have three LA Girl nail polishes, and then I have three Milani polishes because they kind of just match their like bottle style. And then I have like four random ones right here. This first one is called Elsa. And this one is called Anna. This is really cool because it's got like white glitter and then it's also got like this magenta glitter in there as well. This one's called Use the Force, which is a really pretty like bar topper. This one reminds me of Cookies and Cream. This is called The Notebook. This is one of my favorite. It's called Mermesmerizing. <laughs> Mermazing. I never remember what this is called, but if you're ever in Five Below, you should definitely get this. It's a really, really pretty kind of like oceanic type of topper, I would say. Like it looks like ocean rocks or seashells or something. Like it's really pretty. This next one is called Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. It's kind of like a pinky white topper. This one's also one of my favorite toppers as well. You should definitely get this if you're ever in Five Below. This is called Saved by the Glitter, and it's a really cute, like, over white or, like, pastel colors. This is one of my favorite toppers of all time. This next one is called Pep Rally, and it's also a really, really cool topper. It has all different types of glitters in it, matte glitters. And this is called Dia de Muertos, which this is a glow-in-the-dark polish. This is, like, a metallic taupe color called Total Eclipse of the Heart. This one is rolling with my homies. And then this is just like a, uh, like a turquoise glitter called Time After Time. So then I have all of my LA Girl polishes. These are really good too. I got these at Rite Aid and then someone sent this to me. This is like a topper. This is really cute. I don't know if I've worn it yet. 
This is called Fiesta, and it seems to be like finer matte glitter, like round glitters. Oh, I definitely need to wear that. That's super cute. And then these two are just creams. This one's like a mauve pink cream called Charming. It's really pretty. I love this. And then this one's like a purple called Temptation. And then three Milani polishes. This one's called A Rose My Lady, and it's one of my favorites. It's like a really nice, like, nudie pink. And this is also another one that's really pretty for fall time called Cl Canyon Country. It's a really nice dusty like pumpkin orange. And then this one's really interesting. This is called Sugar Rim and it reminds me of Pocahontas. It's a really cool polish. And this one's really cool. This is from Charming Charlie's I think and it's like a holographic dusty red color. And this is called Don't Kill My Vibe. I think this one's also from Charming Charlie. These bottles feel like really heavy and like sturdy and I like them. I didn't even know this place sold nail polishes and this is called Sweet Sugar and this is, sorry for that bang. This is like a really nice like pinky glitter. And these two, I'm not really sure where these came from. These are like cute glitter toppers. This one has like little elephant cutouts I think in it with like a rose gold glitter called always be a unicorn i'm really not sure where this came from this one's really cute too for like valentine's day it's like definitely valentine's day colors right here this is called kiss and make up so i'm not really sure where this came from but these two bottles are like heavy too they probably came from like what's that jewelry store icing something like that you know like a clothing store okay so that is everything that is on this nail polish rack okay so yeah this video is so so long so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna upload um this nail polish rack tomorrow just so it's not like eight million years long you guys so yeah i'm gonna leave it at that thank you so much for watching and i'll see you tomorrow